scope to continue. Okay, we started, we left off at the weird people. Um, I don't know. So now I'm supposed to dodge, which I'm very bad at, by the way. So. What's in this room? Oh yeah, I've been in here. No electricity running, the most likely to stay out of light. Yeah, we read this. Alright, we've been in here. Don't need to be in there. We've been in this one, we've read that. Um, this door is jammed. Okay, we've been in here. This is the room that... They want to have special things with my body and I don't want it. No, it's the next room. I can't let him see me, but I kind of want to explore. Hide behind the shower curtain. I want to look at this piano. Nope. Ooh. Okay, we read that. Okay, we're here. Are you a sinner or a saint? That's all it says? I don't know. Some kind of machine. Is it a boiler? Giant clock of some kind. Ooh. I want to go through there. I don't want to go through there. Can we do the starting again? Okay, this also is the same crap. Those two are lovers. We meet him later. Funny girl's a slut. That's the church. Well, they did this earlier in the game where I came back here and had to, like, do this again, so apparently 
I'm just gonna have to come back here a thousand times. That's what happened last time that I had to go to the graveyard. So I guess I had to go back to the graveyard. Man, a dog's barking. What type of person am I? Who am I to you? Flora is a better person than I am. She means more to me than myself or anyone else. I'm going to save her no matter what. Do you care how the story ends? <laughs> is that all of... Is that all of this is to you a spectacle? <laughs> Curious game. What makes you think you are the one deciding the force behind my actions. Just who are we to each other? What if I jumped right now? Would you care? Would it even matter? Do we have to... Shall we? And jump. Go ahead and come over here. Now come on, it's just a book, nothing to be afraid of. Like seriously, books aren't a poison or anything. People are so dismissive of having to actually think. It's pathetic. So what's the book about, Vera? Why are you calling me over here? Well, it's something that relates to you. I've been looking into these strange episodes you've been having. To be blunt, I was thinking I might have grouped up with some schizophrenic loony with multiple personalities or something of the sort. But looking into it, you sudden your sudden personality shifts left between you between the you we know and this other you that doesn't seem to know us at all. Well, there might be something more to it after all. Now listen. Okay, I'm listening. All right, let's save. Here lies the great artificial sun. All who wants to enter the realm of our holy king must first make passage through here. But be quick on your feet or you'll burn as fuel to light the king's world. Okay. Okay. If it's burning hot like the sun, I don't think I would want to slide down something that's burning, like, to the point where, you know, it's going to burn my butthole. I mean, it might be magic, and 
I might not burn to death, but... I mean, I am suicidal. I did jump. Ah, fuck it. Let's do it. What's the worst? I fucking saved it, right? So... Just to make sure. Yes, I want to save. Okay. Let's do it. Let's burn to death. Oh. You're not allowed to walk on the red parts, I forgot. Call into the room and get rid of any wild boss and please take the whole chemical and apply it to the main distributor. Once the coal is applied, go to the wire fair terminal and distribute the chemical to sector 60. Then release the security look at uh, the security lock at the security terminal and activate the cooling chemical at the cooling unit. We hope to make oh, okay. I'm probably doing this like completely wrong. Okay, this said 60. God, now I have authority? Fucking do it, asshole. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess. Apply the most food. Where's the coolant unit? main distributor okay. I did I don't know like I don't know where the fucking thing is okay I'll do it a little bit faster so I'm not freaking out Shit. 
back up here. Shit, I pressed it too fast. <sighs> okay, it's red. I'm not a robot. Demon Rich Ink. Alright, the only thing I didn't press was this button. Me, I should go this way. Oh shit, let's just. I can't walk that way. Okay. Shit. Um. this or okay we still got this please tell me I'm not going in a circle it looks like I feel like I'm going in a circle I am fuck it I'm going I'm gonna die just because I want to. Oh, apparently you can't go with the tracks broken like that. I hate the... I wish it would like auto go around everything, like I clicked it. Asshole, I'm gonna die. And she won't stop running through stuff. And I'm just getting like aggravated now. Okay. Oh, no you don't. Stop doing it. I put up. You should go up first and then over. Jeez.
down. I'm almost out of here. Oh shit. Oh, not Sloppy Joe again. Oh, I don't want to do this again. No, I can't. Sloppy Joe wants my sweet ass. Run! Fuck off, Sloppy Joe! No, I don't want to start this all over again! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! No, no! Fuck! Come on, please tell me I'm almost out of here. Ugh! Oh. Juke, no! Okay, good. I'll have to start all the way back there. It's gonna be like, I'm pissed off. Hit run! Run! Up, 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 up. Please be the right one, please be the right one, please be the right one. Um. Yeah. Fuck you, Sloppy Joe. Oh no! No, fuck me! God. Damn, there's too many! Please tell me I'm out of here. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh my god, my brother picks the wrong time to come in here to tell me something and I can't fucking listen to him because I gotta do this fucking part and please just like, be over already. Jesus fucking Christ. Hate time shit. But that's all they were to many people, just stories, stories. I'm Sloppy Joe. What is this meeting? I'm Sloppy Joe. I know what you are. You're annoying. <laughs> How's it going, Wen? So, how have you liked it? Aw, oh, Wen. Yoo-hoo. Uh, don't worry, Slays. I'm sure she's just a little <laughs> shy. What? Who are you? Oh, right. Uh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Demon King! Everyone's favorite creator and uh, world dominator, as it were. I've been making my own worlds and recently been trying to build up my demon channel. I I've got like over 500 subs. Um, uh, here. Uh, it's why I need you to kind of work with me here. I mean, we've been working with you for a while, and I just wanted to bring you in and show you into the process of it. What the fuck are you even talking about? Are you the one that kidnapped Flora? Are you the one who's been screwing with me? No, now, here, Gwen. Hear me out. Now, I, I don't want to shove this on you, but, darling, you're going to be famous. You're going to be, like, all <laughs> over these, these Let's Play, play things, and... They're gonna totally love you, I, I think. Maybe, you know, it's not really for me to judge. Yeah, I just create the content. <laughs> I don't care about any excuses you may have, Demon King. If you took Flora, I'm going to kill you. Simple as that. Oh, when? You know, you're very committed. I... But you're not seeing the bigger picture here. Flora doesn't exist. At least not really. She's just one of the characters in one of my worlds. Um, I didn't really flesh her out as much as I was kind of hoping to, but she worked as a good motive for me. I felt like it was a good coil. Wow. Awkward silence. You know, when you're an entertainer, you kind of have to keep on talking. Uh, 
fill in that silence with something, anything really. People just like to hear talk, talk, talk. Yeah, I'm kind of sensing that you're not really feeling this world. I can make a new one. You know, you're very inspirational. I've created so many worlds today. You know, back when that Saturno bitch used to rule things before, you know, I took care of her, uh, she only worked with one world. Can you imagine that? One world! You know, I, I like to just let my creative juices flow, and when I get more of one world, scrap it. I, I, I like to think that they're all masterpieces in their own way, but I, I don't like to settle too much in one world. Oh, oh wait, I almost forgot. So, get this. I was thinking we start from Forestville again, but this time I'm your snappy roommate, and everyone loves me. Uh, I, I don't really think I need any flaws. Is that what all this has been? My life has really been this pointless. Are these feelings of mine really? I don't. Oh, oh hold that thought, Gwen. Uh, my slaves have been waiting, and I needed to do some recording here, so let, let, let's get into this one. This has been something I've been saving for a rainy day. Uh, I hope you like it. Hey everyone, this is Dream Pain. How are my slaves doing? Uh, today we're playing Paint the Dream 9. As you slaves know, I was really proud of Take the Dream 1 to 8. I loved showing it to you guys. Uh, it, it was kind of fun. And I'm happy for your feedback. Uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, wait, did I say that too early? We'll do it anyway. Now, let's see. Oh, oh, wait, can you still hear me, Gwen? Uh, so sorry, sorry, sorry. That damn moron's voice is gone. When they get my hands on him, I have to kill him. Okay, I'm gonna stop here for, pause here for a second. So, just stop your... Okay, I guess I gotta go back in that room.
Okay. supposed to move this why not probably something creepy huh it's another me I have a crazy look on my face look anymore. I have the bathroom key. Alright. Uh, she's naked. So... You know, I didn't think you ever realized we both lived in Forestville together. Given I looked much different back then, and I think we may have only interacted once during the Harvest Festival when I accidentally came dressed as a bunny girl. I've always enjoyed life, making people happy, feeling free, dare... Daring, loved, and yes, maybe even being perved on. But I was too afraid to be myself for the longest time. I was definitely shy when I was young. And it took all of my effort to start pretending to be someone more outgoing and chipper than that. I tried to show you all my best, and yet you caught a glimpse of me at my worst. I was acting really bad that day and was pissing everyone off. I did everything outlandish. I did every outlandish thing that came to mind and made fun of others. I shrieked and showed myself off as I do to you a lot. I acted loud and obnoxious and vocally boosted my ego as if nothing were serious. You came into the room with me visually upset and trying to hold back the full depth of your anger. I teased and stuck out my tongue, fluttered my fingers a bit, and nastily asked you if you had come to check out my body. I was being disgusting. You grabbed my shoulders, tightly. You neared your face to mine, staring intently, and you began to scream at me. But what you said was not what I expected at all. You barked at me on why I was treating myself like this. You questioned why I was trying to be the villain here, when no matter how you spun it, I was the victim. You then hugged me tightly and began to weakly pound your fist on my shoulder, sobbing that it just wasn't fair to me and that I was the one hurting and I didn't need to attract any more pain. Maybe it was only that you had realized I was acting up to detest my cur current reality, self-loathing myself because of the way people were past looking at me, judged me. The hushed whispers of people thinking I was weird, thinking I was crazy and nuisance, an attention whore. Girls spewing up rumors about me and guys only interested in me for potentially being a freak in bed. 
Maybe it was only you. I began to sob with you and clenched myself onto your shoulder. Okay. We never really got to know each other, you and I. Yet I can't help but have a certain fondness for you. My fondest memory of the days we spent journeying together. Out of everything we experienced, my most fond memory is the one time you gave me your ice cream cone. Peculiar as it may sound, that is one of the most cherished memories. I had never had ice cream before. My prestigious upbringing had taught me that taught me not to even dare considering empty fatty calories of any sort. Yet one day we found ourselves in a peaceful seaside town and you stopped us all to go get ice cream at a small corner shop. I chalked it up to a lack of self-control on your part and a greedy sweet tooth. I refused and stay put as you lot all entered in like a pack of wolves sweeping down on fresh prey. You came back shortly after and started to mingle with me. You began to talk about how ice cream was you and Flora's favorite dessert. I fired back with a bout of reasoning of why I wouldn't touch the stuff, yet you didn't say one word back to any of my admittedly trite comebacks. You just listened, nod your head, and waited for me to finish, and afterwards, you simply told me that the ice cream is a treat. Such a comment also seems mocking by itself, or empty words that mean nothing, yet water formed in your eyes and you started off distantly into the horizon far off at the sea stared off sorry I look I had been far too familiar with the during many evenings silently weeping to myself in the mirror right then and there I nabbed the ice cream cone from your hand and I took my first lick I really am still not quite sure what came over me but it was the most delicious thing I'd ever tasted in my life and you looked at me with an expression of confusion. I looked back at you. And in that moment, we shared a strange sort of kinship, and the smile spread across your face. Between the sweet dessert and this feeling of comfort and companionship, butterflies began to fill my tummy. And it was at that moment I knew. We were entering a brave new world full of all, full of all sorts of news, but it was okay. We had each other. What? You're back so soon. How? Demon King, your time to die has come. No, 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 wait. You don't understand. Who are you? Just a broken hearted, broken hearted maid that's about to get her revenge. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Oh. No, 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 no. I just wanted people to like what I made. Why? <laughs> This is Demon King. I, I'm sorry I didn't do all the series. I <laughs> promise. I just want to let you know, without you guys, you, you guys saved me. I, I know I call you slaves, but I, if it weren't for you, I don't know what I'd do. This is Demon King, signing out. <laughs> Have... <laughs> and 
And thus, I vanquished the Demon King. That is it. Roll the credits. The end. Listen, I have a question, and it's important, okay? It might sound silly, but you have to answer it seriously, okay? Sure, what is it? Do, do you... I, I wanted to know... What would you think... If I told you that you're not real... What, Flora? What are you talking about? I'm right here. I've come all this way to save you because I love you. I've always... I'll always be here for you. You were always good to me, Gwen. I deeply appreciate that. But it's time to let go. Well, you're not making any sense. Please just listen to me. If I didn't have you, I don't know what I'd... I just want to be with you. I'd like very much to be with you too, Gwen. But it's about time I awoke from the stream. I just wish... I could have told you my feelings. I just wish I could have told you my feelings. Goodbye, Gwen. Wait, Flora. Wait, please wait. No. You never knew, but I was always watching you from afar. I wanted to spend eternity with you. I... I wanted to hold you, taste your lips. I wanted... with you. Flora. Flora. I'm not gonna scream. <laughs> I'm not gonna scream!
I wish the stream of cut. Uh, the stream could have gone on a bit longer. Okay. Sloppy Joe. That's neat. So if you just do that, then that pops up. Wretched waits and you go all it takes. When words dry 2.30, you may hear more of me. You may hear more of me. That's it. That's neat. Alright, thank you.